what next. Uh, ships. Lots, well, certainly a number of ships to uh, close the gap, because that's why. Right, I'm going to turn it off as well, just so I can keep an eye on them. Well, they're pacifists, though. They, the thing is, they could maybe do liberation wars. Uh, other than that, though, I'm not complete. sure they could declare war, but I will get my fleet a bit, because it is pretty low. Uh, service, service construction queue is done. Supposedly, that was the food. Right, that's better. Okay. System survey complete. Uh, somewhere I got survey. Oh, that's a really good source of science. I need to get that. Uh, physics would be pretty good in this game now because of warp drives. Getting a lot of it. For the mega structures, you need engineering, I think, to unlock, be able to get the perks in the first place. There are certain things you need. I think it's the station things. Uh, Right, where am I sending this science ship to? At the base, I think, at the moment. Oh, you know what? Rather than that, there's a planet there I could go and have a look at. Right, so I moved this up a bit, didn't I? Oh, there's something up here. So, where have I looked? There. There. I'll right, come and have a look in there in a minute. Have I been to there? No, I haven't. Construction complete. Okay, we've got another ship in. Let's uh, keep on doing that. Probably get up to my force limit. I need also to get my energy up to. So there's a conflict here. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, energy building there. Right, let's have a look in elsewhere. Energy there, maybe next. Sources of energy, anyway. I can't see any. I'll just get that to there. League Prison Complex. The ruins of a large prison complex have been discovered on Marcas 5. This hostile world seems to have served as some kind of maximum security penal colony in the First League. As a federal facility, the prison housed convicted felons from across all of League space. Surviving records indicate most of the prisoners were guilty of piracy, terrorism, and other crimes of extraordinary nature. Fossilized remnants from some prisoners can still be found where the cells used to be. Situation log updated. Okay, so uh, I could very well do that at some stage, and perhaps even now. I need a uh, level 4 skill though, is it? He doesn't have it, so uh, yeah, it won't be at this stage. Uh, there's an anomaly here though, let's uh, do that with uh, Saglor. Okay. Right. Construction complete. Uh, right, service spaceports. What was that? Oh, that was small ships. Uh, that can make that there. Okay. Colonization in progress. Okay, excellent. We've got that as well. So, the science ship can come over to here, and then down to there. Okay, any signs of primitives? No, frankly. Oh, this is getting annoying now. Right. Probably some somewhere. Let's come there. 
next. Okay. Some uh, boys thin, I think that is. Can't remember the name exactly. Right. Construction complete. Money is looking awful. So uh, yeah, let's focus on energy for a bit. Right. Okay. League Science Base. A surface scan of Markaz 8 has identified a remnant of an ancient installation on the planet's surface. Most of the facility was wiped out in a massive explosion some 2 million years ago, but a few outlying buildings more or less survived the blast. All evidence recovered so far points towards this having been some sort of research base built by the First League. Situation log updated. Okay, can we do that one? Level five? No, not yet. Okay, uh, the scientist then. We're two. I think that's gonna be coming within my tower. Do not. Well, certainly at some point quite soon in the future once it's got done, basically. Construction complete. Okay, construction complete. Uh, what was that? The energy building, which yeah, that will start to use in a bit. Okay. May want to get a third constructor up pretty soon, actually. I uh, can't really afford more ships because they cost maintenance. Now I need to get the energy situation Research sorted. complete. Right. Uh, that will help. Extra power plant. Upgrade. So the next lane I want, I what do I want? I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'll go for that. I guess I was very tempted by the assist research that would give my scientists something to do when they're not exploring, but they're still exploring a heck of a lot. They're pretty busy, so yeah, let's go for that. Okay. Also, many problems come under control. I'll buy enough, get enough constructor perhaps. They cost maintenance, so uh, complete. getting another one now would make things worse. Mm -hmm. uh, right, so this constructor, let's bring you up to here. Okay. And let's also upgrade that power plant. Right. That's finished. I'll get eight back. I think the length for how long colonies take has actually been increased as well. It used to be 12 months. Now it seems to be two years. Construction complete. Okay, minus station. Got made. Uh, where's the money? Money, money, money. Or energy, I should say. Uh, there's some um, there. Okay. Too long away now from that. Construction complete. Okay, Zarak Prime surface. Something's made, like that. Should come online soon. Pop comes in. Construction complete. Okay, surface. Radiance. Might as well upgrade that one as well. Okay, money is coming to control. Just in time. So science ship. Uh, oh, looks like we found some more stuff. Try it then. 
Construction complete. Uh, mine station. Let's get... I think... Oh, and some There's more energy up there. Okay. As long as it remains stationary, I might be able to sneak in here and uh, survey it. System survey complete. Okay. Alright, I think I should be able to... Yeah, that should come within my territory soon, so... Uh, let's go and do that one. Okay, and... What next? Money is starting to come up, nice. Uh, right, let's keep an eye on this, just in case. Construction complete. Uh, in fact, it's finished. So, uh, service, surface, queue finished. Let's get that over to there. Right. And what was the surface queue doing now, right there? Uh, right, that looks great. What next? Uh, right, got a decent amount of production. Colonize and get a colony out for that. Mm, I need to wait until that's done, really. Yeah, let's make a few more ships. That's an idea. Okay. Construction complete. Okay, mining station done. There's a really good source of physics I should be getting there as well, though, isn't it? So let's uh, come here. It's confusing because they're right next to each other. Oh, wrong one. Okay, let's get that to here. Alright. What I'd like as well is for them to give you a unrest flag whenever there is some. Even a tiny amount like there is on that. I think it does come at some point, just not immediately. So I'll make another one of those there. To be honest, I don't know if there's a certain level of unrest where uh, a rebellion or an event can kick in. If you know, if it you need say 20 or more, that's when the flag comes in, and that's when there's a chance of it. Then that's great. But I don't know if that's the case yet or not. Uh, tradition came in. So what can I go for? I can lower the influence cost. I'm shocked I don't have a faction still as well. Uh, I've always had one before now. Uh, frontier outposts that get more influence with doing well we're low, but are not in desperate need of it. I think I'm going to go for this one next. So the effect on increased tradition costs caused by number of colonies reduced by 33%. So that means I can colonize pretty freely then without uh, worrying about my inf my in unity too much. Aren't we? There are unity buildings that can come in within society later on, but uh, yeah, this is becoming a bit of a problem at the moment because we don't have much society. I need to start working on getting some science labs up on my planet if I can't get it uh, via mining stations, which it would appear I can't at the moment. Okay, but there's a big list of things to do. Just uh, figuring out what is the priority, and that's really the key to the game. So, recruitment armies is done. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's get out a constructor. Now, get after three. Ah, finally! Faction has been founded. A new faction has recently been gaining f traction in the internal political landscape of the host. Led by Emperor Gethmar, they call themselves the Peace and Order Movement. Their members have been pushing hard for an extreme centralization of political and military power. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but those that approve of the government's actions could prove useful. 
So which one is this one? Peace and order movement, and that's one I wanted. Because I believe this one is the authoritarian faction. Uh, you have a different name every single time. And uh, this one seems to be pretty Orwellian, arguably. Peace and order movement, because uh, yeah, these guys aren't too nice, the authoritarians. We actually got five bonuses there now, so... Rulers, political fa- Oh, that's good. I didn't realize that that existed. So, yeah, we even get more bonuses than normal. So currently, our attraction is 58% of our entire society will be uh, hedging towards that, taking that as their ethic. So currently only 37% are. Galatarians, I have 25%, which is actually more than the attraction rate. want to keep them down. Xenophobe. I may want to switch to being xenophobe at some stage, so I don't really mind if we have a bit of that. Xenophile is actually a bit more than I would probably want, but uh, attraction is actually zero, supposedly with that. Militarist, arguably a bit low, I might want more. In fact, yeah, it is a bit low. Uh, if, you for have, if you're at peace for a prolonged period of time, actually your militarist value will lower and your pacifist amount will rise. And I think it's about 20 years, actually. When it's that when you get uh, a modifier on this, so in five years' time, I really need to be uh, starting a war. And actually, conquering primitives counts towards wars, I think. So it's finding primitives is even more important. Materialist, ah, I have a research agreement actually, so that's contributing. Uh, yeah, so might not want to get too many because of that. But to be honest, yeah, seven's probably fine. Uh, now, the biggest rewards of having a faction, if we go back into here, if you happen to successfully accomplish the issues that they present you with, in this case they want Imperial Authority, the Royalism, which I started with, because I knew that would pop up, and also they want a Stratified Society, which I also have, and I'm getting a bonus towards that as well. So that's making them happy, so all of the people, all of the five population that happen to be within that faction of a bigger happiness bonus and happiness gives you extra yields which is great so that's going to help out certainly an even bigger reward is influence so you get a base amount and then I think this is split between all of the factions there are techs which give you a bigger base amount but uh, because I only have one faction and everyone uh, has basically joined it that yeah out of uh, people who are attracted to a faction, I'm getting the maximum reward currently, which is two influence, that's gone up significantly, like in the, well that's going to be useful for all sorts of things. Right, that's great, so let's uh, continue on. We should have come a bit earlier though. Construction complete. Okay, where is the science ship? Right, his job is done for the time being. Let's uh, bring him back there. Uh, mining station, orbit of Afris. Uh, right, I still need to... Let's bring down back. Where is this one to? Right, that one's going to get the physics. Yeah, I need to build up my fleet and I need to find primitives. That's kind of the key thing now. So, where is this uh, ship going to? Can I come across... Oh, yes. So, it's a route into this part of the map from over here. So, uh, yeah, I think I might want to pay that spiral of visit in addition to coming up here at some point. So I probably at some point want to colonize over here just to give me access without needing any better warp engines. That'll be good. I can lock that down. Uh, right, I've got enough now to get the physics here. A feeling I might end up within their borders at some stage, but for now I'll pick it up since it's a really good amount. And we've got a number of skill bonuses to our scientists, probably these ones. Because of the leadership trait with this race, I picked the average. Well, they can't die until the age of 87 at least, I think. That's how it works. That's certainly helpful. Okay. Situation log updated. Counter in the Kanda. Uh, what are these? 
Well, that looks like a mammalian empire ship to me, and that's the Savannah world. Size 24, that's big. I don't, that's the capital. Okay, it looks like we found another empire. I don't really want to find another empire at this stage, but uh, yeah, they're over there. So I probably need to come up here quickly, colonize those before they go get in them. Uh, yeah, I need to come up here as well. But uh, colonizing that is next on the list. Coming up, maybe. Uh, you know what? Let's bring that back. Don't really want to meet them yet. I want to conquer the primitives first, and that could damage relations. And uh, my military isn't very good yet either, so I don't want someone who could be aggressive knowing about me. Construction complete. Right. We now have three constructors, but not minerals to use them. The colony ship is coming in rather soon. Completing rather soon. Okay. Uh, let's make more corvettes. Colony established. And a colony is established. So I've got uh, sector issues now. I've gone over that amount. So what this should be doing is lowering my empire energy generation and also the influence amount. Not sure if it's kicked in there. There used to be issues with this not updating properly. Don't know if they've uh, solved those problems in Banks Utopia yet. So Afris, if you save the game and load it, then it solves it though. Or it waits a while, I think it also updates eventually. So uh, that's there, that can probably stay there for the time being, that's fine. Right. Okay, at this point I actually had to stop recording, so it's a bit awkward because I'm halfway through a video. But yeah, I'm recording this part of the video a few days later, and some of the videos have started to go up on YouTube. So I'd just like to thank those of you who have been leaving the odd like and the odd comment and for all of your views so far. And other than that, I should get back to playing. So I believe where we left it off was I just colonized this system and I've just gone over my sector limit. Now it turns out that it is actually counting the inefficient planet management amount. So yeah, I am getting minus 10% off this even though I'm making a decent amount, surprisingly. So, at the moment, I don't think there's a massive reason for me to turn over a, well, one of these plants over to a sector. It's not like I'm, uh, yeah, being massively affected by it. So I might keep on to four for a tiny bit longer. Other than that, I really need to, uh, yeah, build up my fleet. There's uh, whomever those aliens happen to be over there that could be an issue. And keep on colonizing in that direction to block them in. Uh, I only would actually block them in completely if I closed the borders with them now. I don't know what warp drive they have. Actually sending a bit of a fleet into the main system to see what their fleet is like might be a good idea. In fact, it's a very good idea thinking of it. So I might do that coming up. And there's also one thing I believe I mentioned in video 3, I think it was, with the traditions. That uh, I think I made a mistake on actually. I mentioned that this is bugged. Now what it actually says in here, it says for the purpose of colonizing and building frontier outposts. It's both. I basically just thought it was the frontier outposts. So you get a discount off both of them. And uh, yeah, that's why the colony cost on that uh, system was reduced. To be honest, I think it's very, very generous, the reduction. It could potentially be an issue without, with how much it's been reduced. I don't know if that's true or not. But uh, yeah, maybe it's part of an overall plan of uh, reducing how uh, useful or powerful influence is in the game. Because normally, in previous versions, you would just have uh, to really use your influence on colonizing and not much else. Perhaps they want you to use policies more or even edicts on a certain planets. Uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, there has been quite a few changes to influence because of the faction system as well. So I don't really know. But uh, yeah. Maybe that's not bugged after all. Right, let's uh, continue on with things then. I'm going to be saving up for a unity building, I think. Construction complete. 
uh, on that new system and also a new colony ship I need I need another spaceport and I also need uh, well freaking loads of things <laughs> yeah basically so let's start the unity building here now I think I don't want that there long term, but I'm not really sure where I do want it. Probably there, I'm guessing. Uh, it's not on energy, sadly, but it's got uh, resources all next to it, which would be good. So I'm actually going to stick that building there for the time being. It's not going to waste any resources. This doesn't have adjacency yet, it's just a shelter. So, yeah, I'm planning on moving it. So I'm going to move that... Uh, uh, civilization population complete. over to it in a bit. I've forgotten what they're called. Uh, Patho... Patho Prosacus, they're called. Uh, right, so the spaceport on service finished something, which is probably uh, another unit, is it? Okay, so what am I saving up for? More of a fleet, I think. I'm gonna hit that, then I'll get a colony ship out. And uh, I do need to continue getting minerals. I wouldn't mind building up my money for a bit though. That's a bit of a surplus. Okay, so how much do my ships cost anyway? 95. And uh, we've got communications with this empire, the severely associated nations. So who are they? These. Oh, really? Uh, theocratic oligarchy evangelizing zealots. They are militarist and fanatic spiritualists. Now, are these are the ones that try and kill you and have tons of bonuses? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Uh, no, they're not. A few. I think the ones. The Fnatic Purifiers, that's it. I was getting confused with this. <laughs> I was hoping it really wouldn't be. Uh, those guys are, yeah, super xenophobe and militarist. These guys are just super spiritualist and militarist. So these are nowhere near as big a threat. But having said that, i got to be careful. I need to get my fleet up because they could definitely go for me. Unlike the pacifists, which probably won't. Unless it's a war. A liberation war. But I haven't conquered any primitives or to give them really a reason to uh, try and liberate anything yet. Still haven't found any. So let's uh, continue on with things. Let's build up system my fleet. Let's build up complete. another spaceport. Get another colony out. Uh, system surveyed. Where is that to? Uh, the polymer. There's quite a few systems down here actually which I should be uh, definitely surveying uh, within my territory. Now where is this one? That one can come up to there. And the constructors are busy. In actual fact, let's get that one there and that one can do that one. Okay. I think I've probably got to keep an eye on some of these worlds because I'm not going to get auto pop ups. So when do they grow in a bit? Yeah. Right. Nothing soon. Construction complete. Okay, let's get another. Corvettes out. Okay. Construction uh, I think complete. starting to look good, but my other scientists certainly aren't, especially society. Uh, construction was completed there. Let's switch him over to that. More unity, more traditions. Sounds good to me.